The oldest working farm is hosting a competition featuring one of the world's oldest team sports. Yeah, and to add on to that, it's to benefit Kentucky's oldest child welfare agency. So a lot of history there. Let's check in now with Jim Stratman and photojournalist Paul Landers live in Goshen uh, to talk about this benefit, this polo benefit for Mary Hurst. Uh, it, it's just beautiful it's behind so you right now, Jim. Yeah. It absolutely is. I mean, the sun's just coming up over the trees. The river is down just over the hill and the horses. Well, they're out getting a little bit of a workout in as they get set and ready for Saturday's polo match coming up out at Oxmoor Farm. I'm joined again by Will Boland uh, with the Louisville Polo Club. And we talked in the last hour, Will, just kind of a little bit about the sport of polo. I want to dive a little bit more into that. If people have never seen a polo match before, describe for me what it's like to be able to come out and watch what is a lot of fast moving high intensity action out there it is we call it uh soccer and hockey on horseback <laughs> there are four players on a team they're numbered one two three and four so you can't pick your own number the numbers are significant mm -hmm. your ones like in soccer are your forwards mm -hmm. your two is your halfback and your three is typically your strongest player on the team it could be considered your quarterback mm -hmm. There are no goalies in polo, so your four is your defensive player. Mm -hmm. He's going to pick up the attacking one or the two, one or two from the other team. Now, the game typically starts when the umpire bowls the ball in at center field mm -hmm. like a scrum in rugby. Gotcha. Teams will fight for control of the ball, and then, again, as we talked about earlier, it's played on a field that's 200 yards wide by 300 yards long with goal posts at each end about eight yards apart. Mm -hmm. The teams will then try to score at one end of the field, but the unique thing about polo is that after a team scores, they'll come back to the center, teams will change direction so gotcha. that there's no advantage of wind, sun, or field conditions. There you go. And that's what it's going to look like out on Saturday when you come out to the match uh, out at Oxmoor Farms. We will have more throughout the day, and of course, we'll throw some details up on our website, whas11.com, in case you want to get some tickets.